pieces that we have in this Titanic auction are so memorable because of the event that took place. I would say the r, &R sale, what they're bringing to the table, first of all, their Titanic 1 auction was stunning. But this one is even better, Titanic 2 for December. They're bringing things to the table you just can't get. RR has several very important letters coming up for sale, some of which were written on board by passengers, but one that stands out as being very special. And that letter was written on board Titanic on Titanic's special stationery that actually had Titanic's name on it, written the very day before Titanic sailed. And the letter is very special because it was written by Titanic's assistant surgeon, Edward Simpson. It's a letter to the White Star Line Medical Corps asking that he officially be transferred to act as the assistant surgeon on Titanic. The official stationery that passengers use in writing, uh, particularly first class and second class who had access to the stationery. And when you hold it up to the light, and there's light coming through the paper to show a star watermark. And the star, of course, was significant because the company was called White Star Line. So now we have something extremely poignant because this is part of Titanic's official story, something that you normally don't get a chance to own in private hands. There are a lot of photographs being offered in this particular sale, original first-generation photographs right from the original negative from 1912. I had opportunities to look at various photographs purporting to be the iceberg that uh, doomed the Titanic. Within the past Two years, uh, I discovered a photograph uh, that uh, had been taken by Captain Wood of the SS Etonian on um, the 12th of April, 1912. The captain took this picture because he was fascinated with the unusual shape of the iceberg. Uh, this particular iceberg had an ellipse and the top right of the iceberg. And in my professional judgment, this iceberg is the one that sank the Titanic. The flag that's coming up is not merely a White Star Line flag, but it was a flag that was, it's a White Star Line flag that was attached to one of Titanic's lifeboats that was taken off by one of the Carpathia passengers, the, uh, the rescue ship that came into New York. It comes from someone who was in some way associated with the individual who removed it. It does come with paperwork, including the individual's original receipt for being on that very voyage. In this sale, there is another Titanic deck chair. This deck chair is amazing because it's unlike any other White Star Line deck chair in a number of amazing ways. On the headboard, normally there's a carved star. Through my research, I discovered that only Titanic Titanic was the only vessel of the whole line to have certain deck chairs that didn't have a carved star in the headboard. As a matter of fact, in a famous photograph, you can actually see one of these chairs, minus the star, stacked up with a number of others. In researching this, I went across the country. We went to the museum, the Titanic Museum in Branson, Missouri. We compared it to an example they have there of an authentic Titanic deck chair. The measurements matched so precisely. I mean, you weren't one half of a centimeter out. And to find the photographic evidence of a chair without a carved star sitting on the deck of Titanic, we've never seen that before on any other white star vessel. This is the smoking gun. This pins it down. Our Holman made chairs to go on the deck of Titanic. Whenever you're doing an auction like this, especially Titanic, the authenticity is very important. Uh, Titanic-related materials are rare. There's just not a lot of it. Most of it, you know, went to the bottom of the ocean. So anything we have has got impeccable provenance and paperwork documenting its authenticity. They have the experts, they have top-notch items, and the research to back all of it up. I know and I can assure you that RR's Titanic II auction will not disappoint. If you go to no other Titanic sale, ever, if you never buy another piece of Titanic artifact, relic, memorabilia, you must come to the R&R sale.